Here with head coach Melissa Graves following BU's 66-52 win over Merrimack. Uh, coach, four-game losing streak, nine of those losses, though, by single digits. What was the message to the team heading into today? You know, I was really happy with the fact that we got to have at least a week between games. So we were really able to focus on what we needed to work on, which was taking care of the basketball a little better, flowing into our offense at a transition. Um, and then I think just overall energy and celebrating each other, things like that. Um, so to be able to work on that throughout the week between was really crucial for us. What was that feeling like in the locker room after you went in uh, getting the victory? How did the players feel? Yeah, you know, just like, Wins are hard to come by, especially with everything being so new. Um, new offense, new defense, new point guard, new players, like uh, new coaches, everything's so new for them. So it's been a big adjustment. I had just told them to trust the process. So it's really nice to be able to get this one. Um, and I told them you got to celebrate the wins because they're not easy to come by. Caitlin Weimer, season high, 16 points. Marin Durant ties her career high with 15 boards. You mentioned all preseason about how you felt about the post depth in this team. What was working right for them today? You know what? They were just really good at finding each other, high lows. Um, we've really been working on those two together in the lineup. And with Riley out, it was really huge for them to step up, especially on the rebounding side for Marin. Um, so I think we're just trying to get into our groove with playing those two together. And they're finally starting to play really well together, know how to pass to each other, know about the high lows, know when not to force it, things like that. Um, so I think they're, they're really starting to get in the groove on how to play together. What did you like about the response from the team's three-point game after Northeastern? You know what? We shot it really well before that game. It just kind of was a down game for us. They got in the gym. They got a lot of threes up. They worked on it. Um, and we just tried to build their confidence a little. We showed them film on them making the three, um, having their feet set. We worked a lot on footwork this week and those sorts of things. So um, just really proud of the way they shot it and the way they shared the basketball. Brought up confidence. Where's that confidence level as you finally head back to Case for a game? I know, we uh, finally have a game, uh, the last one I think before the new year. So we're super excited to just be back in front of our you know, hometown, um, in front of our fans, in front of our, our families, things like that. Um, so you know, I think going off of this game, going into the UNH, I think we feel pretty confident. Now joined by Caitlin Weimer, season high 16 points in the win over Merrimack. Caitlin, at one point you had 10 straight points in the second quarter to give your team the lead. Uh, what was working right for you in that sequence and in this game? I think just playing hard and making sure that I stay physical and fight through contact was the biggest thing and just looking at the basket and just playing hard. With your game, especially for Terrier fans who are still trying to get used to here in your first season here, uh, what are some attributes that when you're on uh, may stand out? Just playing hard, um, boxing out, definitely um, making strong post moves and just making the right decision, passing in and out when I get double teamed and looking for my teammates. Tough stretch for you guys where you lost four in a row, but all of them were within single digits. How does it feel to get back in the W column? It feels amazing. We definitely needed this and we worked so hard this whole week to get everything back together because we know that we're a good team and that we could be winning a lot more. So I think just focusing in practice and playing as a team was the big aspects of this one. Now joined by Maggie Pina, 16 points, a season high, four three-pointers to boot as well. Uh, Maggie, coming off that game against Northeastern uh, wasn't the best in terms of an offensive output, but what was working right in this game? Um, you know, my teammates just found me the ball, had a lot of open threes. My threes weren't very contested, and the Northeastern ones, maybe I was forcing them a little bit, but tonight they just found, fell, and they weren't before. All around versatile effort from the offense. Caitlin Weimer has 16, Lucian 12 points off the bench. She hit some threes as well. When this team is shooting from distance as well as it has, uh, what are the elements that you see on the offensive side to make those shots fall? Um, well, it really depends on our bigs. If we can get it in and get it out on good passes from them, that's really important. Um, if we share the ball well like we can, like in this game, in the BC game, it makes threes a lot easier. Um, and also, if we attack down low and our bigs play as well as Caitlin and Marin did, it makes it a lot easier to get the guards open. You had four games in a row where you lost by single digits. What was the morale and the message for the team uh, heading into this one to try and get back in the win column? Um, after Northeastern, it was definitely rough. It was definitely, you know, people were not okay with how we were playing and how we were doing all around. So we just came into this game and all week we've really been practicing on attitudes and being positive and, you know, moving forward. And I think we did really well this game and everyone cheered for the little things. Our bench had great energy. We shared the ball. It was like an all around team win.